Nine Reasons a Narcissist Will Go to Therapy Are you in a relationship with a narcissist and you're constantly thinking, man, if I can just get this person into therapy, maybe that'll make everything better. Maybe we can finally have a normal relationship and the abuse will end. I used to think about that all the time, but it never happened in my relationship. I ran across this list of nine reasons narcissists will go to therapy, and I wanted to share it with you here today. It's not what you think, but it makes such good sense, and as I go through this list, you'll notice there's a common theme that keeps showing up. So grab your favorite drink and hang out with me for the next few minutes. Let's break this down together. Number one. A narcissist will go to therapy in order to avoid the shame of losing something they're at risk of losing. They don't want you to leave, so they agree to therapy just to keep you around longer. It has nothing to do with getting any better. It's just a tool for them to use in case you do leave. It gives them the excuse of, hey, at least I tried to do something to save the relationship. Number two to learn how to cover up the cracks in their mask. Narcissists might go to therapy to figure out where they messed up and work on honing those manipulative skills to get better at hiding what they really are. They were able to manipulate you. What makes you think they can't manipulate a therapist for a little while as well? Number three, to get validation for being upset when you set boundaries. Again, they aren't going to therapy to fix themselves. They're just searching for validation from yet one more person out there who will tell them they're justified for being upset and you're the one in the wrong for setting those new boundaries. Number four, to gain empathy for being a victim. Therapists are very skilled at understanding people's issues and they'll show empathy for people that are hurting. The problem is, Narcissists create false scenarios so they can look like the victim. They make things up just to get that empathy. Trust me, I've been down the therapy route, and I've seen it with my own eyes. A good therapist will see through all that bullshit and tell the narcissist things they don't want to hear. And guess what? That narcissist will be back to square one because they went to therapy for the wrong reason. Number five, to appear to be the one seeking help for abuse. Yep, this happens a lot, guys. That narcissist will pull the old blame shift on you and go to therapy claiming you're the abuser. They'll pretend they need to learn how to deal with your abuse. Seriously, are you starting to see what you're dealing with here? Are you understanding what narcissists are actually capable of? Number six, they're court ordered. Now this one gets under my skin a little bit. You would think that courts in this day and age would realize by now that forcing someone to do something they have no interest in doing is a massive waste of time. There's nobody, not even a court, that can force anyone to get better. They have to want to get better. Look at the people who get arrested for DUIs or drug possession. A high percentage of those people they don't recover from their addictions. They just end up back to how they were. And it's the same with a the narcissist. They'll go right back to being exactly what they are. Number seven, to avoid losing supply. I have a friend who's with a narcissist and they'll tell me their partner is in therapy. Again, it fits right in with the whole cycle thing I talk about on this channel, guys. If you're with a narcissist that depends on you financially, they'll use therapy as a tool. They don't use it to get better. They use it to make you think they're trying to get better. They'll do anything they have to, to keep you from leaving them. Number eight, to get help for their crazy partner. Again, it's just like number five, but with a twist. Instead of claiming abuse, They'll spend all their time in therapy claiming that you're crazy. There's something wrong with you. They'll act like they're doing everything they can to help you get better, but nothing ever works. They spend all their time in therapy discussing your problems 
while they continue to bury their own. Number nine, their attorney recommended it. If you're going through a divorce or a breakup where courts are involved, their attorney will tell them to go to therapy because it will shine a favorable light on them. It'll show the courts, hey, look at me. I'm doing the work. I'm getting the help I need. What are they doing? It's all just more bullshit, guys. Oh, sure, they might go to therapy, but they're going for all the wrong reasons. Have you noticed the common thread I mentioned earlier? No matter the reasons a narcissist will go to therapy, it's never for the right reasons. It's always something about you and how you're the problem. It has nothing to do with them trying to change. I'll beat the dead horse again here, guys. The only way a narcissist can change is when they decide they need to change. There's nobody on this planet that can make them change. It's time to embrace the truth here, guys, and stop fooling yourself. Stop putting yourself through all the pain of trying to change them because it's never going to happen, no matter what you try to do or say. And that's just the truth. It doesn't matter if you've been with a narcissist for a few months or for several years. Think about it. Have you been able to change them? If they haven't changed yet, what makes you think the next time they abuse you will be the last? It won't be. And it's time you accept it and start making plans to escape this mess. Instead of trying to change the narcissist, start making changes to yourself. Go find that happy person you used to be. The person that would never think of putting up with all this bullshit. And get back to that person. Because you deserve so much better than where you are right now. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, keep looking for those signs. Stay alert. Be vigilant. Be strong. Be brave. And go live your best life today.